Wow. They're, they're mean. Yes. Turn around, was hissing at my mom, hissing at my dog. Mom ran out there and picked up a stick and threw it at it and thing turned around and hissed at her. I was like, well, I'm going to go inside and get shotgun. I was like, no. Not that. Those are bad dudes. No, I was on a deer lease one time, and this old guy, Jack Harris, big old tall, skinny Texas boy, dark hair, smoke cigarettes, barely fit on his ass because he's so skinny, cowboy boots, plaid shirt, you can see this guy, cowboy hat on, straw hat, Cheeks are sunk in. I mean, this guy's just so skinny. And it's cold as shit outside. I mean, the wind must have been blowing 30, 40 miles an hour. Front was coming through. Snow was blowing. And the only toilet was in the outhouse. It has a, uh, a light in there. And it's kind of up on cinder block type deals or whatever, so I looked over, Jack's getting all this shit on, cold and crap, I said, where are you going, Jack? <clears throat> Go out to the damn shit house. All right, Jack, don't freeze like a popsicle, get your ass back in there, goes outside and all bone a little cigarette in his hand. I swear, that guy wasn't gone. Three minutes, and he flies back in the door, slams the door behind him. He's standing there, <clears throat> cigarettes in his mouth. Got this look on his face like he just saw a ghost. I'm like, wrong, Jack. Who's got dang gunk in the shit house? What? I swear to God, that, that son of a bitch must have been the size of a big dog. I ain't never seen a skunk that big. Holy shit. I said, in the shitter. Oh, I swear to God, I went in there and the son of a bitch come out of the freaking toilet seat. And I went out the other. <laughs> I bet you he did. He said, I trip fell down. I thought that son of a bitch was chasing me. I think it's rabid. I said, that guy is crazy. I grabbed my gun and my shit. I went out there. I'm looking around. It's dark and dark and hell out there, man. All the lights for 50 miles. I, kind of spooky out there. I've never been to a place where it's pitch black dark. When you walk outside, you can't see your hand in front of your face. I mean that. Especially on a. I'm sure with a moon out at night you could, but there was no moon. Man, that's just kind of creepy to be in it that dark. Anyway, I had this light. I turned it on. Got the time I turned around, and I swear the biggest skunk I've ever seen in my life came out from underneath that shit house. And he was running at me. Yeah, I dropped my freaking gun. <laughs> ran. ran for the back door. I don't know why I dropped the gun. It scared the shit out of me. And I look like a freaking little girl in a pink dress. I just... I'm oh, sorry for laughing, Chris. I just imagine you just standing in there with you just going, oh, crap. Well, it was so dark, man. I was flipped out anyway. And <laughs> and I'm out there. I've got this little <clears throat> 410 that I had brought. And, man, I, I, when I turned back around... The thing was three feet from me, and he, man, he flew out from underneath that thing. I swear he was, Jack was probably right, he was probably rabid. And I mean, I just like pitched the gun in the air and blew up like a little bitch and ran for the back door. I don't know what the hell was wrong with me. What'd they say to you when you got back in? <laughs> they were laughing their ass off. Uh, this has been, this was back in like 1995, 96. This has been a long time ago. So I'm going to say, why don't you carry your butts out there? Shit. Yeah. So damn.
damn cold and all the snow. Finally, I forgot who it was, one of the old Dodgers that were there. But you can't leave that gun out there. Goes out there with a 357 and a light. Got my 410, came back in. Here you go, Gray White Hunter. <laughs> like, screw you. <laughs> Everybody's laughing. Yeah, you know, freaking Daniel Boone over here. Yeah, fuck off. Fuck <laughs> you. Kiss my ass. Bullshit. <laughs> the rest of the freaking trip, they were calling me shit like, Hey, Davy Crockett. Hey, Daniel Boone. Hey, come here. Bastards. <laughs> Can't live something like that down on deer camp. I don't know why I threw the freaking gun like that. That's just asinine. But that thing scared the shit out of me. First of all, I've never seen a skunk that big. Number two, I didn't give a damn about shooting it. I thought that bastard was going to hose me down. And if it would have, I'd have slept in my truck because they wouldn't have let me sleep in that cabin. <laughs> and I, yeah. I hear there's no way to get that shit off except for, like, if you go to the store and buy, like, $100 worth of tomato juice and you fill your bathtub full of tomato juice and you get in it, soak yourself in tomato juice. The only way to get that smell off. Yeah, see, they say if you, like, it takes, like, weeks for it to go away. Well, my dad got hit by a polecat when he was a kid. Somehow, I don't know exactly what happened. He was out in the, they had to raise turkeys and freaking polecat was out there chasing turkeys or something and got it. A polecat? That's what they cough. We call freaking <laughs> skunks polecat. You guys are fucking crazy. <laughs> What'd you see? Polecat? What the fuck? Get away from here. Man, they're, they're bad. I mean, if there's one around, you can usually smell them if they're a quarter of a mile away. And if something that smells that bad, Throw your gun in the air like a bitch and run too. That's why I can't just, find a date. <laughs> the worst smell on the planet has got to be like somebody ate 500 pounds of tuna fish that was rotten and then farted it right in your face. <laughs> wow. Hey, uh, Chris, uh, let me say one thing real fast. You hear King being mean to me? Huh? Hear that crap? <laughs> hear me being a freaking nig? I thought nobody heard hear it. Him. I hear him. <laughs> Fancy gets he's sticking a sword in your butt, Army. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> Every chance he gets, he's sticking a sword in your butt. <laughs> you know, Army, uh, this girl's interested in Army, and he won't fucking call her. Believe that, man? He's, he's, she's crazy. Army. What? Hey, Army, do you still have Nick on your friends list, or did you say to nah, he removed you? me. I thought you were about to get get on to me for about what King said. <laughs> oh, well, I'm fixing to. Hey, no. <laughs> do I, does it show them online or anything? Um, no, I don't believe so. No, it does not. I uh, think that knob just sent me an invite. I don't want to jump in because 
getting off here in about 10 minutes. Before that, you got to lay into him about being such a pansy. No, I ain't I mean, being one. Why won't you just... Is she pretty? I don't know. Well, okay, so how did this come about? Uh, a dude that I go up to airsoft with was telling me about him. I was like, uh... Did she, she see you? No. Okay, well... No, no, he said, he said he'd get me a picture, you know, and send it to me. He said, and she'd give, and he'd give her, like, my number or whatever. I was like, well, uh, what's the deal? Why would... Hold on, I won't... Maybe it's I'll, his I'll yell friend. At you at all. Huh? It's his friend. It's his friend. And she just wants to go out with somebody? I don't know. He was just going to, you know... Just, just, you know, like, give her a number or whatever. Some blind date with or whatever with this chick? Yeah, I guess. Basically. I asked him the basic questions. I said, okay, does she have any uh, diseases? He said, no. <laughs> Dude, I've been asking for a picture and... I said, is she clingy? And he said, kinda. I was like, oh... It's okay if she's clingy and she looks like Megan Fox Army. Um, see what I'm talking true. about, Chris? I said, I said, <laughs> any tattoos? And he said, yeah. I said, it's okay. It's okay. Anywhere if she's visible? Got one and he looks said, like no. Megan Fox. <laughs> Megan Fox has a tram stamp right above the crack of her butt. I promise you, you're just gonna say when she comes to meet your parents, hey, uh. Could you wear a long enough shirt to cover that up? <laughs> Look at that, I wouldn't freaking care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris goes. But, uh, he, he's, uh, he was making up excuses, and I had to spend about ten minutes trying to get him to fucking man up. I don't hear your crap. <laughs> I don't want to hear your crap either. But I do. <laughs> But no, it's just kind of unseen type deal. That's what I'm like. Eh, no, that's you're probably did the right thing. Big, I'm dude, not gonna say probably you. Users, though, I mean, what's it gonna hurt? You know. Well, I I mean, yeah, you don't in like a sense, person, but you, know, you just say it. You don't you don't date him again. Poor poor, poor army. He'd love to show up. And, he meets this chick. She looks like she's a defensive linebacker for the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> has no, a freaking it, shadow I've on her chin. I've had that happen before. I've had that happen before. That's why I'm like, <laughs> who are you? Oh, um, I, 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 I'm the linebacker for the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I knew it. I knew it. Uh, uh, I crap you not. I had that happen to me last time. That's why I'm kind of, uh. What happened? Uh, or show up and she, her voice is deeper than your dad. It's for sure. Uh, hello, uh, no, I just had one that this. was, it was just, it was, I was like, oh, crap. What, what happened? Tell, tell us. I told you. Tell Crisco. I hear you tell it. I don't fucking re I didn't live it. How the hell am I supposed to tell it? I don't remember. <laughs> it sucked. Just in one word, it sucked. That's two words. Two words. <laughs> two words. I'm tired. It's four in the morning. It's only 3.52. <laughs> you really want me to freaking smack you. Bitch a smack, army. <laughs> but like I said, it was it was bad. Very bad. Well, I was like, "What the freaking heck?" Like I, like I said, though, wouldn't hurt, you know. Hurt to date that girl. Never, never went on any blind dates or shit like that. If yeah, I'm not going to. <laughs> the worst you could wind up is ending up like Crisco over there driving a Viper and getting beaten over the head by his girlfriend. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Yeah.
fucking take a bamboo and stick to the head a few times, Army, you'll be okay. <laughs>